Hey my lovelies, welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing so wonderful. Um, you're joining me today and I am absolutely exhausted, but I was determined to film today. I've been saying this to myself over and over and over again since my last video and it's just not happened. I just, the consistency for me is just not there. Like I just don't feel like I'm being very consistent and I'm so incredibly sorry about that. It's just because trying to like navigate things with a one-year-old is like so incredibly difficult like I cannot even explain it's just been very hard like I'm just being really honest it's been very very hard to try and kind of keep this up but obviously I really want to I love my YouTube channel you know and everyone that supports me and has supported me on my journey is just incredible and I do get messages when I've kind of fell off the face of the planet on here and um, just checking in on me and that's really so kind and um, it's stuff you don't even expect because I'm not like a I'm not a big influencer let's face it I'm not nowhere near anything I'm just kind of like this is my little corner on the internet but yeah thank you so much everyone that's kind of like checked in today I'm actually starting this hair like I've, I thought I'd try a different hairstyle and to be honest it's cute but it's also not working it's because all my hair I'm going to tell you, when I had RJ, my hair was so luscious and lovely. Then it started to fall out because that's what happens. And you don't get told it happens, but it happens. And then now I'm at this phase because I cut in long bangs, to obviously get my hair to kind of, I really want a full fringe. That's, that's my plan. I want a full, you know, I want the bang life. But my hair at the moment, because my hair fell out, is regrowing so all of these bits of hair which you can see like pew, 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 everywhere um it's regrowing so i started having if you remember from my old video i had like longish bangs it was kind of like separated quite short weren't full fringe yet because my hair's not ready for that um and now that's kind of grown out slightly because obviously everything's starting to grow but it's not quite growing as quick as i'd like it to um so i'm still not yet ready for the full fringe because that situation is just not happening because at the moment my hair hasn't grown for me to kind of have that but it is growing a little bit but it's kind of outgrown the look that I had before and now I'm kind of in this phase where I have no idea what the hell to do with my hair but anyway and now I plaited it up just because it was doing my head in um, and it's really cute if I didn't have all these little like regrowth hairs flying everywhere and I'd moved my hair but I washed it yesterday and I don't want to put products in my hair I just don't want to do it so this is the look so apologies I look a bit wild but there we are that is the explanation so <laughs> yeah but I do kind of like the plaits I think they're really cute maybe I just bring my hair back forward there we go um I feel like I'm like in some viking-esque era with this hairdo but anyway right that's me waffle, that's my waffle done for today. I'm starting a new series, I thought this would be really cool and it's called What I Bought Versus What I Got and there's gonna be beauty products, skincare products, hair care products, all of that stuff within this series and the first product to kick this off is the brand new Refi Brow Mascara. I don't know if you've seen this. So this is what I bought, as you can see, it all looks amazing. As you know, I have a bit of a love-hate-ish relationship with Refi. I have a lot of Refi products. Brow mascaras, lip products, bronzers, blushes. I kind of have a lot of Refi products, but to be honest, my favourite thing from Refi is their lip products, but then I saw they actually brought out a new brow mascara. And you know from my previous Refi video, which I'll link above for you, I had kind of like, it looks incredible, but I have like these little bit of an issue with it where it just ends up with like white bits in my brows, which really annoy me. And I also get the same, this is their lip, one of their lip products, this is blush, their lip pencil, lip liner. And I get like a white powder, it looks like I've got toothpaste, like left on my lips once you've used the balm bit. I don't really understand, is it just me? What am I doing wrong here? Because I don't see anybody else moaning about this. So clearly I'm 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 failing somewhere. But anyway, that's that. I love their products. Like the quality of the products are amazing. 
But there's like slight things that just I have issues with. And I just thought I'd buy yet again another refined product to test it out. And I've seen this all over TikTok, all over Instagram. Everyone's like, oh, that's so amazing. Um, so is it amazing? We're going to find out. You get 8ml in the tube. I got the shade Deep Brown. So let's try it, shall we? Let's just try it. This is my brows right now looking as always like sisters not twins let's see if this magic makes them look more like twins and not just sisters they probably won't but we'll see <laughs> this is what the brush looks like it's kind of really unusual like a mascara style brush it's kind of like circular which i've never actually seen a brown mascara with that type of applicator most of them have like the mascara type ap applicator which i i mean i'm not too fussed about i don't know if that makes any difference but we're gonna try we're gonna try it so i'll do one brow and show you and then just carry on doing the other so i've got nothing on my eyebrows i'm just gonna brush it up because it's a brow tint so it's not like meant to make your brows look like you know how their original brow mascara makes your brows look really like thick and full? I think this is more to kind of give it definition and add a bit of colour to your brows. Uh, obviously, I've got dark eyebrows anyway, so you're kind of probably like, what's the point? But to be fair, like I like them to look tinted, but also like neat, if that makes sense. So there we go that's the brow i mean it looks it looks lovely i mean you can't really see the tint probably because the the color matches my brow perfectly which is what i want like i don't want it to look like i've used a different shade on my brow um but it looks really nice like it's brushed through my brows really well it's gone really nicely and there's not too much product like come off the bristles which I, that's what I was slightly worried about like when I first did a swoop did you see like the little bit of like product that kind of went there but once I brushed through it kind of blended in really nicely all right let's do the other one so we'll see because obviously this is where you can really tell the difference I get this applicator actually because your brows aren't actually you know massive and this is kind of like the perfect size to give you, like to br brush through your eyebrow. Whereas a mascara brush, actually, technically, is actually too big. I'm just going to brush through here. Oh, we've got a bit of gloopy gloops. Let's try and brush that through. I've got a bit too much product there. Do you see it? Like there. So. I've got a bit too much product going on underneath here. I'm going to try and gently like wipe that away. Right, I had to just get like a, a cotton bud just to kind of like take off some of the excess. Because I think I went in with a bit too much product. But now I'm going to have to go over it again to kind of get the shape back. Um, I'm just going to lightly go over it a bit like that. I think I was a bit too heavy handed. That's it. They're the brows. You know what? I actually really like that product. You know how much I love like the Glossier Brow Boy? This kind of gives me the Glossier Brow Boy kind of vibes. But actually, it really does make your brows look fuller. Like they look really, really nice. And like thicker, like similar to how you get from the original brow mascara, you kind of still get that fullness look with it because it does really brush through your lashes. And when it dries down, it kind of like dries down like gel almost. Uh, that's the kind of, when I went back over it, it felt like mascara. You know when you put mascara on and it dries and you put try and put another layer of mascara on, you kind of just have that feeling of like you're pushing against something sounds very weird I don't know if I'm explaining that right but that's how it feels and I think that's just obviously keeps them in place but I really like it like it's really nice like I would 100% recommend this um it looks great 
I think it was easy kind of just to cut to tweak it I think I went a bit too heavy-handed on this brow which you did see um, I don't think you need all that much I think you can really just do one or two sweeps so one to get the original like structure of your brow and then two just to add a bit more definition if you want to you don't need to go in heavy-handed you don't need to go in too much with it it's really like an easy product to use on the go um yeah i love it it's probably a great product to travel with actually especially if you um, are one of these um wonderful people that just need to have their brows done at all times this would be perfect for you because you can just pop it in your bag um i love it really great i uh, honestly would recommend it it's a it's a fantastic product so it's definitely um i understand why people are enjoying this product so much i think it looks good i'm happy with it so yeah I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. And I will see you in my next one. Um, bye. <laughs>